welcome back to Reading with Leon. Leon's eating a snack. Just had some milk. We are oh. going to read Amelia Bedelia's first day of school. It looks like they went back and and started doing her when she was young. This is going to be fun. I've never read this one. It's by Herman Parrish. I wonder if he's Peggy Parrish's son. And the pictures are by Lynn Averill. Leon's having fun with his snack. Yeah, Amelia Bedelia. Mm -hmm. Amelia Bedelia couldn't wait to go to school. Here we are, said Mrs. Park, the bus driver. Bye. Time to jump off. Amelia Bedelia backed up and then ran as fast as she could and jumped as far as she could. <laughs> Amelia Bedelia landed right on top of a grown-up. Oh, no. Bye. Were they hurt? Were they hurt? Are you my teacher, she asked. No, I'm Mrs. O'Malley. I teach Jim. Oh, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm not Jim. I'm Amelia Bedelia. Can you help me find my teacher? Follow me, said Mrs. O'Malley. And Amelia Bedelia did, right into her new classroom. That's a nice teacher. Looks like Miss Edwards is going to be her teacher. Hello there, my name is Miss Edwards. You must be Amelia. How did you know, asked Amelia Bedelia. Cause you're my last tag, Mrs. Edwards said. Amelia Bedelia started running. You can't catch me, she yelled, I'm too fast. Come back, said Miss Edwards laughing. We aren't playing tag. I have a name tag for you. That's silly. Amelia Bedelia looked at her name tag. Something was missing. She added Bedelia. I like my whole name, she said. It rhymes. So it does, said Miss Edwards. Now please sit wherever you like. That was a hard choice for Amelia Bedelia. Leon, no, no, put that back. Put it back, please. Put it back, please. Yeah, thank you. Put it back. Hold on, I'll be right back, everybody. Okay, I'm back. I had to put up a sign. Leon wanted to sign up. So, where Amelia Bedelia going to sit? She, that was a hard choice. She liked the pictures of the faraway places. She liked the letters marching across the top of the board. She liked the hamster running in the wheel. She liked everything she saw. So, she sat right down in the middle of the classroom. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah? Miss Edwards began the day by calling roll call. Amelia Bedelia. What, said Amelia Bedelia. Not what, said Miss Edwards. Here. I hear you, said Amelia Bedelia. Good, said Miss Edwards. When you hear your name, say it. It! Howard Amelia Bedelia. It. Who is it? I will be it, said Amelia Bedelia. Can we play tag now? Everyone began to laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Ha ha, Leon says. Clap, clap, clap. Shh. Be quiet as mice, said Miss Edwards. Now that I am sure you are here, Amelia Bedelia, I'll read the names of your classmates. Rose, here. Teddy, here. Holly, here. Angel, here. Chip, here. Penny, here. Dawn, here. Their names were very exciting, but Amelia Bedelia still loved her name best of all. I see you. Plop, plop, plop. Miss Edwards placed a lump of squishy clay on each desk. Let's make our favorite animal, she said. Amelia Bedelia loved hamsters, so she began making one. Rose made a giraffe, Dawn made a pony, Clay made a big fat bullfrog. You're funny, Amelia Bedelia, said Clay. You could be the teacher's pet. Amelia Bedelia was not happy. She loved animals, but she didn't want to be anyone's pet. She felt like flattening Clay's frog. No, no, honey, no, no. If you have trouble, chickadees, said Miss Edwards, try wiggling your fingers on that clay. 
So that is exactly what Amelia Bedelia did. Soon Clay was laughing so hard, he could not stop. Amelia Bedelia, said Clay, stop tickling me. Oops, wrong page. There's the page of the tickles. Ha, ha, ha. Can you put that back, please? Thank you. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up, sang Miss Edwards. It's time for music. Miss Melody arrived with her guitar and a tambourine. We will sing like birds today. La, la. She tw twirl, trilled, tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp. Then students toured the library with Mr. Stacks. I want to see your little noses in the book, said Mr. Stacks. Ow, said Amelia Bedelia. She tried to put her nose in the book. In gym class, Mrs. O'Malley taught them how to run like cheetahs. Meow, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia is silly. I think she'd make a good friend, though. At least, last it was time for lunch. Do you feel like a sloppy joe, asked the lady behind the counter. No, said Amelia Bedelia. Do I look like one? Here you are, said the lady. I hope your eyes aren't bigger than your stomach. Me too, said Amelia Bedelia. They would not fit in my head. Um, Amelia Bedelia, said Rose after lunch. Do you want to jump rope with us? Amelia Bedelia smiled. Sure, she said. She put the rope on the ground and jumped over it. Amelia Bedelia was a terrific rope jumper. Rose giggled. And so did Holly and Dawn and Joy. But before long, everyone on the playground was jumping the rope the Amelia Bedelia way. That sounds like a lot of fun. Hello, who's there? Who's there? Where is Leon? Where is Leon? Where is Leon? Peekaboo! Where is Leon? I see Leon. Hi. <gasps> Leon being silly. There was a time for one last project. Mrs. Edwards brought out big sheets of paper and glue and scissors. This is free time, she said. Create something wonderful. Amelia Bedelia decided to make daisies for her mother. She got a piece of white paper for the petals, and a piece of yellow paper for the centers, and another piece of white paper, and another piece of yellow paper, and another piece of white paper, and another piece of yellow paper. That sounds like a lot of paper. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards, don't be a ping pong ball. Please sit down, but, but I need green for the stems. Enough is enough. Please glue yourself to your seat. So Amelia Bedelia did, and since her daisies didn't have stems, she glued them to her headband until the school day ended. There you go. That's so pretty. No, please don't do that. Thank you. Goodbye, squirrels and ladybugs, said Miss Edwards. She was standing in the doorway giving everyone a gold star. See you tomorrow. Soon, Amelia Bedelia was the only one left. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards, why are you still here? Because, said Amelia Bedelia, you told me to glue myself to my seat. So I did, said Miss Edwards, and so I did, said Amelia Bedelia. How is she going to get out of her seat? Is she going to be stuck there forever? Amelia Bedelia stood up, and her chair stood up with her. Miss Edwards chuckled and then laughed out loud. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, Miss Edwards said, I should have known better than to say that to you, especially on your first day of school. As Miss Edwards got Amelia Bedelia unstuck, she whispered, Want to know a secret? Today is my first day of school, too. I'm a brand new teacher. We both deserve gold stars, said Amelia Bedelia. Look, yeah. You'll have lots of fun tomorrow, said Miss Edwards. We are having an assembly. Hooray, said Amelia Bedelia. What are we going to build? Oh, hold on. Hold on, I need to in the picture. No, no. Give Mama that back, please. 
Leo wants to be the center of attention now. Memory, said Miss Edwards. Then she tapped the million day at once on the very top of her head. Tag, said Miss Edwards. You are it until tomorrow. Amelia Bedelia smiled. She couldn't wait to come back to school. The end. Say bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. See you again.